All right, good afternoon, guys. This is Mitch from uh, audionewsroom.net, uh, and I am bringing you another little review of an app. This time I'm looking at the new one, Patterning. Um, if Sector had a love child with a drum machine, this is what you would get. Really awesome. So let's just, uh, I think... I know I know the sound test room. No, Doug Woods covered a lot of the, a lot of the basic stuff. So I'm not necessarily going to hit a lot of the basic stuff. You can leave me a comment below if you want me to dive further into it. But um, I'm just going to go over a few of the things that I really, really, really like about it, and the things that I think they've done really well. Um, just giving you an overview. It's just a really fun app patterns and circles. Uh, like if you wanted a little little hi hat to start up down here and then kind of fade around. So I got the tom doing the same thing, but we could reverse that. Make it random. Uh, one thing I like about the random is it will not repeat a section until all the sections are played. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, you just draw in your patterns like that. You can just you can do four on the floor kicks if you want. Um, I think I got that one. Um, but I like how everything is independent of each other. And so you could have your kick, you could have 16 steps of kick on 16th notes, but then you could have your snare, um, 30 se 32 steps on 32nd notes. Triplets or whatever you want, you can go all the way up to 64 notes, 64 steps. Um, you can clear them out really easily. You just uh, you've got your edit and your clear buttons down here. Um, there was two things uh, that I know. One thing in here is okay, so you can. Automate pretty much. You can automate all of these, uh, and so it defaults on velocity. But if you go to tuning, you can adjust the tuning, uh, pan, attack, hold, all that stuff. Um, but the one thing that I don't like about it is if I hit, say, I drew in some filter stuff. Um, oh, say I drew in some filter stuff, and I was like, I don't like that. Well, the only way to get rid of it is if you go through here and just go around in a circle like that which is not a big deal but it would be nice if I went up here and hit if I had one of these highlighted and hit clear it didn't clear the whole thing or maybe if I could hold it down and click one of these or hold one of these down and click or maybe if they changed it to where whatever you're highlighted you can clear that and if you want to clear the whole pattern just hold clear down and get a little dialog box yes clear that was one complaint. There was another complaint that I had, but I don't know. Oh, wait. Uh, was it here? It was when I went to open, discard changes. This is not necessary. You can delete the default ones, um, and I guess because of that one's open. But I would like to see a little bit more of a structure like... Um, built in and then like maybe a user folder or something would be another thing so but other than that those are my only two complaints for this app um and so so we have our pattern so let's just go so right here i'm just uh selecting between the different patterns which if you go to song mode you've got a b c and d if you need to add more and it'll number all the way to z and then it'll start over a a a b a c a d um one of the cool things, uh, say you had your little, uh, 
just little uh, kind of a four on the floor kind of thing going on and you're like I, I like that and I want to keep part F as a certain part but I want to kind of vary do a little variant on it then you can hit this little button right here and see how it's got a subscript and so you could and if you go here to song you got F and you got F1 and so you could add different parts to this song and that would be like that and so you could kind of group you know I guess you could kind of group them together like that I thought that was pretty cool um, change your time signature um, so that's that um, each one of these are your tracks um, with all the different samples if you want to change the sample just click on the sample make sure you're over here at the sample that's kind of like your kind of like you can apply it to all but this is kind of like your um, your steps your duration and this is your individual samples um, if you want to change them you can adjust the attack delay and I like how it gives you a visual on on what it's doing uh, I think that's real helpful you can bypass a filter you can have one of these filters and the filters are independent per track um, you can send delays or reverb you can pan it however you want to um, got your volume and here I showed this earlier anything here can be automated and you can copy it um, but if you clear it's going to clear the whole track which is kind of annoying but for everything they did right I can get past that um, but here if you click on um, the the sample you can adjust the start and end points uh, easily import your own samples from iCloud or AutoShare or Dropbox which I was doing earlier and I didn't f I couldn't find any um, oops let me get back there is it going to pull me to Dropbox okay so I couldn't find anything as far as like what files it supported on their website um, under the specifications or anything. So I just started randomly picking things and I was able to import as you can see uh, an M4 alpha file, um, a, uh, a WAV file that is I double checked and it is 24 bit so it does support 24 bit waves, an AIFF file. Uh, it was another wave. It was just 16-bit. It supports MP3s, and this uh, this mix down right here is about three, two or three minutes long. Uh, if you click on it, it does take it a few minutes to process, but it loads up the whole thing, which I thought was kind of cool. And so you could load up a whole big sample and then just pick and choose what little part of it you wanna put in almost granular synth style uh, a little bit without all the crazy editing of it but um, one thing I would like to see um, is if you could maybe zoom in kind of even if it was just like the audio share where you could kind of hold right here and zoom in or whatever uh, would be nice you get a you get a zoom over here so I guess that that could work um, but just watch out uh, there's no time indication as far as how long the sample is um, and so that could be kind of a, an issue and if you play this out then it's gonna play the whole thing until it stops um, so I might just go ahead and delete this one if I can I don't know how to delete them yet um, if I hold it yeah I don't know how to delete them yet um, but I'm sure there's a way everything else in this app is well designed um, so you just take your sample the oh I guess there is three three complaints is there's no preview button unless you have it in a pattern and so I could have it in a pattern but other than that I can't preview what's the sounds beforehand if I'm just trying to figure uh, play around and figure some stuff out um, try something up the time you can go all the way up to a whole step stuff 
So, um, so that's that. You got a bunch of different drum kits. It says 63, but I already see that there's four more to be downloaded. Um, and they're all everything I've played with so far has sounded uh, sounded fairly good. Um, and you can export a drum kit. You can save them. Uh, Another thing I thought was really cool about the drum kits is you can load samples plus effects or just samples only, and which I th thought that was really smart to do that because some of these already got built-in effects and everything to make it sound like they wanted it. But if you just wanted a straight samples and not the um, effects that they had, they thought that they needed, then you could do that really easily, just like that. Um, I haven't created any custom kits yet, so I'm not for sure how that'll be laid out. Um, another really cool feature is this timeline. See, I'll just drag that over. Um, and so this right here, what this is going to do, this is going to play the first half of pattern A and then pause. But if I wanted to move that over and then this, what's interesting is this will play the from the middle part of F through the end and, and loop it around um, and so if I it, it was kind of kind of weird at first but then whenever I was playing around with it I was like that's pretty darn cool how they did that and so if you wanted to do some some funky stuff with different half patterns and have some little breaks and stuff like that um, I'll play this and watch it just bounce around oh wait they won't do that unless I hit okay so that activates timeline and it'll play from the beginning I don't know if that was really a good representation of what it'll do, but because I was playing around and I was like, if well, if you wanted a break, you could just have a part of a, um, like, and it would start out part of a pattern. But then I was like, well, what if it started over here? Would it start halfway over? And it did. So if I'm take this little half of a beat, it's going to start at the half mark. If I make it even smaller, it's going to just play a quarter of it and it's only going to play the quarter of the section that it's in so that's section one two three and four like that um, and so this would be quarter of the pie quarter of the pie quarter of the pie quarter of the pie um, but if you wanted to change the time signature to whatever you wanted then you could get even crazier with just playing bits of this pattern with bits of that pattern um, and that could be some really interesting uh, stuff going on. Um, just standard mixer. This is the uh, effect section. So it's got a, a, a delay that you can send each of the tracks to and a reverb. From what I can tell, the um, EQ and the distortion is uh, global. And there's no send. So it's just going to take the output of it and s push it through that. Um, um, so maybe in the future, uh, I'm not for sure, but I don't know, know if I'd want it to or not, but it might be cool if you could send, only send some to the EQ or each pattern had its own little mini EQ, um, or something, but... Let's see if I covered everything. This app is, there is so much in this app that it's uh, hard to cover. I've already been talking for about probably 12, 15 minutes. I don't know. But, yeah. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. You got oh, I was going to go MIDI. Um, you can output the MIDI of the circles to each note or to a certain note so if you wanted to send it to another um, 
app and play that but that would be I haven't I haven't tested that yet I'm sure it works um, not exactly for sure uh, what that would be good essentially what it would be good for I don't know but um, thought I had oh what I like too is if you wanted let me just do a new one discard blah Let's go to pattern. Let's take, let's do phone rings. And if we wanted to, we could do that. And if we wanted to, we could do that. And so, it's all using the same. So it's all using the same uh, sample and so if you wanted to just have one file with multiple little short little samples on it then that would be really good because you could just adjust the start and end point and uh, everything and that would uh, work out. Um, other than that um, I think this is more than just a drum machine. It could be a whole... playing the whole sample history. So you could essentially play some pretty cool little patterns and stuff on this as well so you could you could almost write a whole song in this app i'm sure you could so um already i think i've been jabbering enough um uh, as always like comment subscribe if you're not uh visit audionewsroom.net uh for all your latest um news articles apps and uh and such and um I will talk to you guys later.